Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. This is about attempt number 12 to make this video and it's only getting darker and darker. So here we go, shooting from the hip. A guy I know from high school made a post on Facebook, not your average cookie cutter post. It was about mental health. His struggles with mental health, his struggles with depression, his struggles with anxiety. Even went on to detail his period of being suicidal, his ongoing suicidal thoughts. He, to my knowledge, never had a suicidal action. But this is somewhat, somewhat normal for those of us who were severely anxious, severely depressed, dealing with some severity of a mental illness. And he made a post on Facebook about this, right out in the open, clean slate, you know, um, to public, which is extremely brave, extremely bold, extremely strong, and I applaud him for that. And I was also very... I wouldn't say happy, but a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit comforted, and a little bit alarmed about how much attention this post got, because this is a very nice guy, I and mean, I've, I've never known anybody to have an issue with him. Very, very funny guy, but he went on to mention that you should check in with your loved ones, check in with your friends, your family, your significant other, you know, your co-worker next to you, see how they're doing, ask how they're doing, and to not be afraid to say what's going on with you. Even if you might sound like a broken record, there are people who care, there are people who have been through this, have overcome it, and the more you keep it a secret, the more it becomes a burden on your shoulders, and the relief that you can find from conversating and just getting out your feelings about how you are doing mentally, how you're doing physically, what your disorder is making you feel like, it can be a big relief. And I think this is part of what he was aiming to do, is to open up the awareness to mental health, to try and tear down this huge stigma wall that what is mental health. To open the eyes of people who aren't suffering, to, to open the eyes of people who are suffering, that they are not alone. That was his main point of his post, is you are not alone. And he said, you can reach out to me anytime. And anytime he makes a post about mental health, I usually chime in and we discuss it pretty thoroughly. And we kind of have the same feelings behind it, behind anxiety, behind depression. And I thought it made a lot of sense. It made a lot of sense to make this post, especially around the holidays where people have the hardest time. And sadly, 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 it's the highest rate of suicide is around the holidays. You know, it's not always the Christmas cheer and there's no holiday miracles going on for some people some people are really having a good time a uh, hard time and reaching out to somebody asking how they're doing asking or forcing someone out of the house you know to go have a drink go out bowling whatever you need to do just to socialize with that person to help somebody to stop isolating because man it sucks sitting there by yourself it might feel great not knowing that no one else can see you in pain but to have someone there for you even in the slightest amount helps a tremendous amount so check in with your family guys check in with your loved ones check in with your friends tis the season to be miserable not jolly and a lot of people are miserable a lot of people are suffering so Force somebody out of the house. Force yourself out of the house. Force yourself to get help. Force yourself to treat yourself the right way. Self-care is so important. And caring for others, even when you're not feeling great, can help you a tremendous amount. You know, you don't always get that dopamine rush from stupid things like gambling or sex or... Whatever you get a dopamine rush from, sometimes you can get a high, such a high, such a good feeling from helping somebody else out, 
even though you're not feeling that great and even though you're having a hard time. So I hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully everyone has a good Christmas, a good New Year's. I know Hanukkah's passed. Hopefully you had a good Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope you're enjoying it or enjoyed it. So keep your heads up, guys. Keep fighting and keep surviving and get out of the fucking house and do something. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Be well.